Oh, welcome to my workbench. It's a little messy. It's actually cleaner than what it used to be. So, um, yeah, anyway, a messy bench is a good thing. This is my old solder extractor fan. We've seen this on the channel before because uh, I built this from a, a PC fan, I don't know, probably three or four years ago. Um, as much as I like the smell of solder fumes, and who doesn't? Uh, they're not good for you. So what I did was I got this filter stuff, and uh, I cut it out. I put it in here. Uh, what have we got across here? We've got a diameter of nine centimeters, uh, so radius of four. And just trying to work out how much filtering was actually being done. So. Half of nine, four point five times four point five times three point one four, uh, sixty four ish square centimeters of extracting uh, from here. So it's just been sitting up about here, and that's been probably okay. Uh, but it's a bit a little noisy, and, and so I've actually done a few videos where I click my fingers and then the noise disappears, which is mostly post-production work. But I was in a shop the other day, a computer shop, and uh, shout out to computer traders in Hobart, and they give away, they've got boxes of fans and hard drives and stuff, which they just give away. And I thought, this looks about the right size for, this is, um, hmm, what do you reckon? 13-ish, 14-ish, uh, where's my centimetres gone? Here we go. Uh, yep, 13, so what is that, 169 square centimetres? A bit of an upgrade in terms of the area. I mean, I'll lose some of it. But I was thinking I could probably put this extractor fan here. I'm not sure which way around it goes. Um, I'm guessing it probably goes that way. Yeah, I don't really know. But anyway, I could probably put the two together do a fan sandwich and oh, here we go look there's a mark on the side so it says it rotates that way and it goes that way which is yes towards the label okay nice so if I put the two side by side maybe uh, it would be a pretty good extractor fan I'm hoping that they're a bit quiet and I've also uh, got some bolts here these are m4 bolts and some screws and some washers uh, to maybe make standoff. So I was actually thinking that I could put the one below to do the main extraction of the fumes and then this one to filter them out before it goes out into the room. But we will see how that goes. I am intrigued by a couple of things. And one is the fact that this has got three wires attached and there's not a lot of information on those wires. So it's going to be a bit of a lottery. But looking online, oh no, actually there is a little tiny minus sign here. So I'm guessing probably if online is anything to go by, it is ground and then it is VCC 12 volts. On the other side is probably data out. I thought we'd hook that up to my oscilloscope and see if we can get some data out from that, which is probably associated with the RPM. And I'm not sure what the RPM would be. The other thing that would be interesting is uh, I did a video a while ago on my um, my LEDs here, uh, which illuminate the workbench. And one of the things which I really liked about that project was doing a soft start. So I had a soft start circuit. I've been looking into soft, soft start circuits recently, and I found one that uses an LM317, which is, yeah, a lovely little uh, voltage. Uh, DC DC converter and so using that and I think a PNP transistor uh, it'd be nice to have this sort of when, when I turn it on I'll maybe put the switch on the side uh, and just to come up slowly to the 12 volts like that would be pretty cool first things first I'm going to get these hooked up I'm going to put them on the oscilloscope and we're going to see if they work if I've got the polarity right and if there's any signal coming out of them Weirdest computer dancing signal coming out of that third wire. Possibly something that the computer can understand. Uh, if I'm reading my settings right here, each of those horizontal divisions is 
two milliseconds. And so that would make that a thousand divided by six, say 170 ish RPM or, or whatever. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming inside there'll be a sensor, probably a Hall effect sensor, maybe a couple, maybe it measures it every two or three times around. I'm not really sure. What a weird signal. One thing, just to make sure that it is an output and not an input, because I did have fantasies of maybe controlling this via a PWM signal, but I think that's for a four-wire fan. But let me just put a card over here to see what happens to the signal. And, yeah, you can see the disruption there when the airflow is disrupted. Uh, a very different signal coming out of there. And then if I just take the card away... You can see it settle down again to the old signal. So that is an output that the computer can understand. I've got 12 volts on this thing. It's super quiet. I can't even hear it going, actually. But there's a decent amount of flow going through. So I think I'll just uh, put it together and, uh, and build the soft start circuit, and we'll see what it looks like from there. Here's our circuit running on the program iCircuit on the iPad. So once we close the switch, we can see that the voltage and the current increase to the load which is perfect for a soft start the input voltage is 19 volts and the output voltage is set by the potentiometer at the uh, at the bottom so that's um i think it's a 5 or a 10 it might be a 10k potentiometer at the bottom there yep so look at that around about um what is that 6k at the moment uh oh yeah, that's just risen up to 13 volts so yeah it's nice and the 47 microfarad capacitor at the bottom there uh, you can probably uh, change to 10 if you want it to come up uh, faster or 100 or something like that if you want it to come up slower yep so uh, it looks like it's going to work in principle let's build it and see how it goes things have progressed on two fronts the physical uh, arrangement of the fans so I've given a little bit of an air gap here, and the airflow is this way. So this will sit like this. First fan will bring the solder fumes up through to the filter, and then the the, the second fan will draw it through the filter. Uh, they're just held together really with some M4 bolts and some nuts. There's a little bit of a, a washer just here, and I just uh, drilled through the filter and put the washer on this. That's holding it all in place at the moment anyway. And uh, I've just got the two leads coming out. So I'm guessing that I probably won't use the data lead. So it'll just be VCC and ground. And VCC will be provided by this circuit here, which is the LM317, a PNP here. And the PNP that I'm using is the uh, SS8550, rated to 1.5 amps. There's my diode. There's my 47 microfarad capacitor it's just arranged as per the circuit that we've already had a look at uh, i'll be interested to know what voltage is coming out as we turn this on so i've got 12 volt coming in i do have a current limited at the moment to one amp and the motor i've got is a six volt motor so i'm stepping down from 12 to six via the lm386 so let's see how that works i'll just get this onto the output of the lm386 so currently zero. All right, let's. Oops, a slip there. All right, that seems fine. Hopefully you can see that. Yep. All right, let's turn that on. Definitely, you can hear that wind up. So we're getting point eight of an amp. And yeah, there's our six volts. So that's full throttle and a very slow wind up. You could slow that down by changing the capacitor, but I think that's gonna be okay for our fans. Hopefully they won't be as noisy. And there it goes for a walk. Yeah, nice. It's sick of doing some work, so it's walked off on me. Um, yeah, so I think that's good. I'll, I've got a blank PCB here, so I think I'll put all that on there. And I might pop that on the side here. Uh, with maybe the switch on the top. So I've got a little rocker switch here as well. And I think that will be um, that will be pretty good. And it should just wind this up. Uh, we'll be able to wind up the voltage according to this potentiometer. Um, yeah, I think this is coming along pretty well. Let's put it all together. 
There is some wiring in here that only a mother could love, but hopefully it's working. So all we need to do is to put our switch on. There's already 12 volts coming in, so let's switch this on. Yeah, it seemed to come up a lot faster than what I thought it would. Is there a misconnection? Maybe that I need to check again. Once more, let's try. Seems to be running full throttle pretty much straight away. Let's try it like this. Put this on and give it power from here. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's actually getting any benefit from soft start. Um, how these components? Oh, the LM317 is absolutely on fire. So, yeah, there's something that's miswired here. Let me get back to you. Yes, there was a wire missing. Pretty important one, actually, too. Uh, and it just shows the difficulties with uh, maybe soldering up over two days. Should have probably finished it last night. I left this one out, which is from the collector to ground. Uh, and so I'm hoping that that will mean that this will work now. So we've got uh, 12 volts coming in, six coming out. It should just ramp up slowly like we've seen it before. Let's have a go. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's warm. I'm not sure that the LM317 should be that warm during operation. It's actually quite warm. It is dropping from 12 to 6, so whether that's the problem. And there is, of course, space here for a heat sink. Uh, and this is drawing a bit of current. Let me just put that on again just to see what's coming out. It's just ramping up now to... Well, it's hunting a bit too, which is not good. That's about 0.7... Of an amp this is supposed to be rated to 1.5 amps so it should be able to handle it okay but yeah that is quite warm to the touch mm. okay well uh let's do the i guess the 19 to 12 and see what uh is coming out of there it could be a function of the current the uh, extractor fans that I've got will draw no more than about 0.1 of an amp. I think even operating in parallel together, I'd be pretty surprised if it goes too much above, uh, too much above that. I think it does show, apart from the uh, snafu with the having the project over two days and missing out that wire, that there might be enough complexity here to justify putting this on a PCB. This is the second soft start circuit that I have attempted. They're pretty useful. Uh, even things like shifting the switch from here to here. Um, yeah, the different components that you can use. So you could swap in different components for, uh, you know, for instance, this is a potentiometer, but if, you, if you're just having a fixed 12 volt, why would, you, why would you need the potentiometer if you knew what was coming in, you knew what you wanted out? So some thought about that. Also, the LM317 is in uh, voltage adjustment mode here but you can also reconfigure it to be current adjusting too so you can have two side by side which is a pretty fascinating idea as well okie dokie let's see if we can get the 19 in and 12 out that we're actually looking for 19 volts on this side 12 volts dialed in on this side let's see if the soft start works we've got one fan going and there's the other one going, oh, that is so pretty. So that is just coming through 100 um, milliamps at the moment, winding up slowly. Beautiful. 120 milliamps. Uh, let me just feel this guy. Warm. Not that warm. Warmish. 150 milliamps. Might put a heat sink on here. I wouldn't have thought it would have struggled, although I guess a 19 volt drop to a 12 volt drop is a little bit of voltage to dissipate. Maybe I should look for something around the 15, 16 volt mark. I know that, for instance, um, it needs an overhead of about 3 volts before it will regulate properly. 
All right, we've maxed out here at 160 milliamps. Fans working fine. Very, very quiet. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. I'll uh, I'll look around for a power supply that's sub 19 and maybe post 15 volts. But even at 19 volts with a heat sink on here, I think that will be fine. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'll get it all hot glued up so it looks like a nightmare, and uh, we'll have a look at it in situ. And I've mounted it upside down. Of course I have. Good Lord. I'm liking the fact that it's uh, up here somewhere. Oh, hello. Hello, are you? Yeah, that's, that's lovely. Um, I don't think you should be up here, though. I've put a heat sink on here. This is 19 degrees coming in, and I'll start again. 19 degrees. Yeah, I'm just going to a few degrees. Uh, you need to get down from there. Like a pinhole type um, arrangement at the back. And yeah, if these little things uh, sit in, they'll start again. Well, okay, so it's not mounted correctly at this, this, this stage, but it's getting close to being finished. Uh, it is up there with just a little bit of wire. It looks pretty ugly at the moment. I'm just waiting for some of these longer brackets to, uh, to come into fix to the back of it. And also, I haven't put the PCB on the fans themselves so i've got it just sitting up here so that's pretty ordinary as well but for a couple of reasons uh one is that i've got 19 volts coming here at the moment and i probably i mean i have ordered a 15 volt power supply that means that the voltage is not being dropped down as far and i do have a heat sink on the lm317 but it's not really necessary according to the website i've looked at anyway but just to be safe and uh, of course it'll be even less uh necessary or certainly not required if i do get the 15 volts um hooked up there i probably will lean towards having this away from the fans and that's why i've left the leads quite long here so i'll probably maybe feed it out the back and have it up here say where the uh the light is maybe even combine the two so light goes on fan goes on that way if i'm soldering i don't even have to think about it um uh, let's just set working though so i'll just flip that on Bottom fan goes on. Yeah, I hope you can see that top fan goes on. That's pretty cute. So um, it's just winding it up to full speed at the moment. Bit of a wobble because of the uh, the dodginess of that uh, bracket. But uh, anyway, let's try it with a bit of fake solder. Yeah, look at that. That gets sucked up there pretty quickly. That uh, that's exactly where it should be going. Not into my face, but um, but straight up into that double fan. I can just hear it coming up to full speed now. That is pretty good. It's certainly way better than the old one, which is what I wanted. It looks nicer. It's quieter. It's made me have a think about the soft start circuit again. So uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to call that the circuit working for this week. We'll see you next time.